Welcome to this tutorial video on Six Sigma's DMake methodology. In this video, we're going to explain what DMake is and consider why DMake is such a powerful approach. So, firstly, what is DMake? Well, DMake is actually an acronym and a methodology, and it stands for Define, Measure, Analyze, Improve, and Control. And together, these five steps provide a structured process for improvement projects to follow. DMake is very much the backbone of Six Sigma. It provides a clear structure that is followed both during training and afterwards in real life projects. So let's take a little look at each step of DMake in turn. The first step is define. The define phase is all about defining the problem that you are going to tackle. So it helps you to answer questions such as what is the problem? How often does it happen? And what is the impact of the problem? In the define phase, we also have to define the project management and answer questions such as who's going to be in the project team? How is the project going to be run? And who are the key stakeholders? The second step is measure. The measure phase is all about making sure we can measure the problem and understand the current performance of the process before we start trying to improve it. So we're asking questions such as, how do we measure the problem? What data do we collect to measure it? And how reliable is that data? And finally, what is the current process performance? So the measure phase is all about establishing a baseline. And this will be particularly useful later on in a project when we want to measure the effect of any process improvements that have been made. The third step of DMake is analyze. The analyze phase is all about understanding what the root cause of the problem is. Six Sigma provides some process-based tools that help us to look for clues in the process itself and answer questions such as, how does the process actually work? And what does our existing knowledge of the process tell us? Importantly, however, Six Sigma also provides some database tools that enable us to look for clues in the data and answer questions such as, what does the data say? And can we use data to verify that the root cause affects the process output? The fourth step is improve. Having established what causes the problem, the idea in the improve phase is to develop solutions and implement them. So relevant questions are, what are all the possible solutions? Which ones will work best? And when, where, and how shall we implement the solutions? And finally, having completed the process improvements, the last step of DMake, the control phase, is all about ensuring that the new improved process is stable and under control, and answering questions such as, has the project goal been achieved, and have the improvements become business as usual? So that's a quick summary of the DMake steps. As you can see, DMake is a simple and logical approach to problem solving, and it's that simplicity that makes it a very powerful methodology that can be applied to a wide range of problems and environments. It's also worth noting that DMake is quite an iterative approach. So although you will typically follow the DMake steps quite rigidly in a training environment, when you're delivering real life projects, the phases will often overlap and indeed you might find yourself going backward and forward a little between the steps as your project progresses. Well that concludes our short video on DMake. Thanks for watching.